Good morning and welcome to week two of the unofficial, oh my gosh. Good morning and welcome to week two of the unofficial Life's Library Readathon. I'm now at my boyfriend's house and I'm just gonna start by reading a little bit this morning. Make sure that you're subscribed if you haven't already because there's more reading to come and you won't wanna miss it. Also, I'm getting attacked by these little gnat bugs. So yeah, but look at this corn, look at it. I finished up reading my pages for Anna Karenina today. I think this is the earliest I've finished them, but I've been reading most of the morning. I also had a meeting and now it's time for lunch. I'm back and I'm finally going to start Letters to a Young Poet by Rainer Marie Rilke. I just finished up the first six letters in Letters to a Young Poet, and so far I'm loving how important Rilke is saying that the little things in life are and the emphasis that he places on solitude. So yeah, looking forward to finishing up this short book probably tomorrow. Good morning. It is day nine of the readathon. I woke up on the wrong side of the bed a little bit, but I'm going to start the morning off and read some Relka, take a break from Anna Karenina, and it is just gorgeous weather out, so I'm going to enjoy it. These are all the chickens we visit. We call the brown ones chocolate, the white ones Minerva Louise, and the dark ones are midnight. Hi, sorry I dropped off yesterday, but my memory card filled and I accidentally bought the wrong one to replace it, but we're back. I have a few updates from yesterday. I finished Letters to a Young Poet by Rainer Marie Relka. I read this one for Singus, which was a book that was a translation for you. I give this book five stars. It was 
really short, but I really did enjoy it. And there were a couple of quotes that I just loved. I actually typed them out because it's a library book and I wanted to keep them. So I'm just going to read a couple of these. From letter two, I loved, we are unutterably alone, essentially, especially in the things most intimate and most important to us. I loved that one because it, for me, it means that you can be passionate about things and it's okay if other people don't really understand them. And I loved in letter five when he was talking about Rome and Rilke writes, Rome, if one does not know the city, can be depressingly sad for the first few days. It affected me so because it exudes a death-like, dreary atmosphere typical of museums. The overabundant relics of the past have been resurrected and the revival maintained with tremendous effort. From them, a very small segment presently makes its living. All of these distorted and stale things are basically nothing more than coincidental remains of another era and another kind of life, which is not ours and should not be considered as our own. They have been indiscriminately overrated by many, including scholars and philosophers and tourists who habitually travel to Italy. And then the last part that I really liked was from letter six, Relka writes, to be lonely, as one was lonely as a child, while adults were moving about, entangled with things that seemed big and important because the grown-ups looked so officious and because one could not understand any of their doings. That must be the goal. And when you realize one day that their activities are superficial, that their careers are paralyzed and no longer linked with life, then why not look at the world as a child would see it, out of the depths of your own world, out of the breadth of your own aloneness, which is itself work and rank and career. So yeah, that was my first Relka. I really enjoyed it. I specifically liked the parts where he discusses that it's okay to be alone. It's good to be alone and in solitude and that doesn't have to be a negative thing. So moving on to my Anna Karenina update, I'm almost done with part three. Yes, part three. I have two chapters left in part three. So I'm at 350 pages exactly. Nothing much else to update. Within part three, I actually really liked the Vronsky parts. And this was the first time that I really liked the parts where it's focusing on Vronsky. So I did enjoy that. But then Towards the end, especially the love in part near the end was a bit of a slog for me to get to. I just really didn't understand a lot that was going on. And um, I also just, I don't really care. It was about agriculture and organizing the farm and stuff like that. And the other parts about agriculture that have been more naturey have been good for me, but this part was a little bit not my style. So that's the Anna Karenina update. I probably won't be reading any pages this weekend because I just want to hang out with my boyfriend. And yeah, that's it for now. There's Ryan changing my oil for me on the cruise. Good morning. I've been up for a bit reading Murderbot, but I just got dressed and now we're going to go for a little walk on the trails. Are you panning down? Should I? Yeah. And they're naked. Tell the vlog about the turtle. The vlog about the turtle? Yeah, tell Oh, him. well, he just popped his head down and he's swimming away because he's camera shy. But there's been a bunch of snapping turtles in the river. And we've been spotting them. They look kind of like rocks with sticks coming out of them. And we're getting eaten by bugs, so we're going to go home now. <laughs> like a finch. He's very cute, though. He's giving us a little dance. He's 
Are we recording? Hello! Welcome to Michelle's peach pie. That's going okay for a first time pie. I'm not doing great, but she's got all the fruit taken care of. I just need to figure out how to make pie. I cut all the peaches. Some of them are a little bit squishy, but. And Ryan made the pie crust. It looks like death, so don't judge me. <laughs> There's our filling. Here's the before shot. Oh. There she is. And we've got enchiladas getting ready to go over here hello and welcome to day 12 of the readathon it's already afternoon and i read a little bit of anna karenina this morning but now i'm going to start whose names are unknown by sonora bab i have mixed feelings about this one i'm really intrigued about the publication history because it was supposed to be published around the same time as steinbeck's the grapes of wrath but the publisher felt it was too similar to steinbeck's novel because steinbeck actually used her notes so of course it would be similar but i have read the grapes of wrath and i didn't love it particularly i did like the ending but i don't remember much of it now so yes i'm excited to see the similarities and the differences but i'm not sure if the story itself will be that engaging for me it was raining pretty hard this morning but it's really cleared up now there's just a few drops here and there so i'm gonna be outside until the next storm rolls in which apparently is right now, so I will be heading back inside. I wanted to pop on and give an update because I haven't been vlogging as much. Today is July 14th, the 14th day of the readathon. I had a pretty relaxed weekend, but I did start Fugitive Telemetry by Martha Wells, the latest novella for the Murderbot series that has come out that actually takes place before the novel that came out last year. I finished this one up last night and it was so good. I gave it five stars. I read this one for Scale, a character seeking justice, and my boyfriend's actually really into these two, so I was waiting for him to finish it. I read the last couple chapters out loud for him, but yes, definitely recommend Murderbot to everyone. And then I've been making my way through Anna Karenina still, still loving it. I finished part four and I'm on page 450 now and a lot's happening and I think that's all I'm going to say right now. And finally, I started Whose Names Are Unknown a couple days ago and I'm surprised because I'm really liking this. I'm usually not a fan of Dust Bowl narratives like I said. I don't know if this book will change my mind but I'm definitely enjoying it. I like the style and I like how all my expectations are being subverted. It's nothing like any of the other Dust Bowl narratives I've read besides the fact that the setting is the same and the major force is the same but the characters feel so much more real the style feels more immediate and i think it's just working a lot better for me than steinbeck's novels have so that's the update i'm not planning on reading anna karenina or whose names are unknown today because i have some chores i need to get done but i'm hoping that i have time to read anne of green gables later and i'll see you then
I think I'm just going to end the vlog here. Make sure that you subscribe and stay tuned for the next one. Bye.